If you take the ten right. million dollars, you'll spend the rest of your life being chased by a poisonous snail. This actually parallels nuclear power economics pretty well. It might sound like a good deal, but the snail- And nuclear power is a good deal. ...never stops moving. And if it touches you, you die. Through your shoe? All right, not even polonium-210, one of the most toxic known substances, works that fast. But as a metaphor, something extremely low probability, but extremely high consequence, that's what nuclear engineers design for. It knows where you are. It's always coming, it's and it will arrive eventually. Now, except in the case of nuclear power, the accident isn't inevitable, but it's something that you just need to treat the energy with respect and design robust systems to protect you from something like this. In this case, a snail in a containment structure. Make it triple redundant like a nuclear plant, too. You could move countries and switch hotels every few nights, but if you slip up- Okay, that's at least actions that he's taking to minimize the chance of getting caught. Redundancy, fail-safe systems, constant monitoring, and in-depth training. That's what nuclear engineers do. Once, the snail wins. It can't be killed, it doesn't age, and it never forgets. Again, containment structure. Considering it's a snail, that's gonna cost way less than $10 million. Would you take the money if it meant a lifetime of paranoia? Take the money, but no paranoia. Put it in a containment structure, keep it monitored, and then you're good.